The first opener that we start using as assassins is called Blink Step. It allows us to teleport right behind our enemy and stealth there. It's very powerful in PvE and there's much you can do wrong with it. But if we try to use that in PvP, it might work as well. But the more experienced our enemies become, the harder it will be to pull off because it's pretty simple to counter that if you know what you're doing. Now, openers in PvP are very powerful. It will decide the pace of the match, it will decide if you will have to blow defensive cooldowns or if your opponent will have to blow defensive cooldowns first. And oftentimes, that might decide single-handedly if you're going to win or lose the matchup. So in this video I'm going to talk about some of those openers that you can do. I'm going to talk about the basics of using your abilities while gliding. I'm going to talk about the different abilities that you can use while gliding and that makes sense using while gliding. And I'm going to show a few examples of that in PvP as well. So first let's talk about how to actually use abilities while gliding and it's pretty straightforward. What you want to do, you want to jump to the highest point possible and start gliding there with your spacebar. But you can't use any abilities at this state yet. And the trick to it is, you need to stop gliding for a split second, use an ability and then start gliding again. In this case I'm going to press spacebar, press my two ability after and then press spacebar right away again. And it looks a little bit like this. I am gliding during this entire time basically and I'm blocking enemy attacks being thrown at me during this time. It's a little bit tricky at first and I encourage you to just keep practicing it a little bit because later on in PvP it will become very important to master this. So now after we've covered the basics of how to use abilities while gliding, I'm going to talk a little bit about the different abilities that are actually useful in PvP and what they're really good for, what they do exactly and when you should use them. So let's talk about your decoy ability. It's your best way to protect yourself while gliding mid-air and it protects yourself against pretty much most abilities that enemies can throw at you. And it's especially useful against destroyers, it's really good against forest masters as well because they oftentimes just throw something at you that's going to CC you and just ruin your opener from the very beginning. So if you can counter those abilities you will be able to just stealth right behind them and you will be fine. Another ability that's very important during your opener is Lotus. You should pretty much try to lay it down during every opener if you find the time. Sometimes enemies play too aggressively so you can't put it down right away. But if you can, you should lay down your Lotus in the start because that will allow you to have a backup plan if something goes wrong in the start and then you can just use your Lotus to break out of the stun afterwards or whatever. And this is pretty much useful against everyone. So now I want to talk about tap switch because it's going to be one of your most crucial ways to actually get into stealth if your right click doesn't work mid air anymore because your right click is very easy to counter and tap switch is a little bit harder to deal with for a lot of enemies and this is especially useful against blade dancers because they have so many ways to counter your right click and they have so many ways to just catch you out in the open and if you can get a tap switch and they can't really counter it themselves very easily but if you do get the tap switch on them mid air you just switch positions with them then you can right after use your shadow dash to get into stealth and you have your opener there. So finally I want to talk about Poison Swarm. It's a slow traveling projectile and it's especially useful against assassins, blade masters and kung fu masters. It will prevent them from using any of their own counters which is super useful because then you can get a tap switch on them off very easily. Additionally, it's also very good against assassins because if you get that on them during the opener, it's so slow traveling that if they get their right click on you to stealth, the projectile might hit them afterwards which will get them out of stealth right away again. So it's always really good to get that off against assassins. So let's talk about how to adjust to your opponent's openers. In this first clip I get a really easy tap switch on this Blade Dancer and I can just stealth on him and get the opener. But then the next clip he uses his immunity midair, which is a big cooldown and he counters my tap switch with it. I use my decoy to try and stealth but he uses Penta Slash which just counters it and gets me out of stealth immediately. So I remember that and for the next clip I use my tap switch on him again, he uses his immunity, I'm fine with that. I shadow dash towards him to get the immunity, backstep right away, avoid his grab, use my Panda Slash to counter his Panda Slash because I knew it was coming and then I try to use my decoy and I get into stealth because he uses his spin on me again. Now he used a bunch of cooldowns here and I can get my opener on him soon because I'm in stealth now I have the advantage and he doesn't have his immunity anymore and I can just open up on him with my X ability, knock him into the air and get my first combo on him. 
And that's what you have to do in this game. It's constant mind games with your opponent. And if you can figure out what they're going to do next for their opener, there's a counter for it and you can get the opener on them instead. And the more openers you get, the higher your chances of winning because it's a tremendous advantage. And you should keep that in mind in your future matchups. Try to watch more what your opponent does. And if you don't know exactly right away what you can do, just think about it a little bit. And there's always something that you can do. Either way, I really hope this video was helpful to you and I will see you guys next time.